Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial. We're going to get right into it. This is going to be basically how to do wiggle uh, with a little bit of extra control just to make it a, a bit more of a usable tool. It's one I use all the time, so I thought, why not make a tutorial? So we're building a bobblehead here. First thing I want to do is just move down the uh, rotation point here so that the head, I got it separated out from the body there, you can see. Got the background. Uh, and this way, when we rotate, it stays on the neck instead of rotating at the nose. So just to move that tool up there. I'm going to go quick. You guys uh, can rewind if you want to catch it again. So what you normally would do is you'd alt-click on your stopwatch here and you get into the, the expressions menu. And you'd uh, use the wave command, which you could go in through here and find it. Uh, I don't really know where it is, but it's just wiggle uh, bracket. Uh, and then you have couple of things. First parameter is the uh, amplitude, how often it changes, or sorry, the frequency, and then the second one, so that's one moves once every second, and then the second one is how far it moves, so uh, that would be 10 pixels, or in this case, 10, 10 degrees, and then you'd have close. There is a third parameter there, it's uh, sporadic movement, we're going to leave it at the default, which I think is 2, um, and what this gives you is a nice wiggle, which is pretty much what you want, right? However, uh, where this breaks down is turning it on and off. It's just always on. And most people want to, uh, to be able to control things and turn things on and off. So what I like to do is create a new null object and put a couple of sliders on it. So if you open here, type in slider into your effects and preset, you get slider control. And these are dummies. They don't do anything. It's just what it is. It's just a way intro. So I'm going to make two of those. I'm going to call one frequency, and I'm going to call the other one amplitude. And those are going to control these two figures right here. So, this is where it gets fun. So, I'm going to add frequency, and then I'm just going to pick whip that value right there, add the colon. Try to keep your I'm going to pick with the next one. And then, yeah, another colon. Okay, so that is a complete expression. If we turn it on, oh, it's not going to work. So what we need to do here is change frequency and amplitude. So there you go. Now we have no movement. However, that's what we want. The keyframe leaves. So you got up here, you got your keyframes. And let's say we want it to slowly come on over three seconds. So let's say we wanted to get, uh, say we wanted to wiggle 20 degrees, and we'll go with, we'll stick with the one, one times a second. So see how that is. So now when we look through it, it slowly speeds up, comes on, and then let's say, oh, let's say here 515, that's perfect. We'll say it slows down. back to zero. You know what, let's have it come on faster and slow down quickly. Just sort of like normal. Like you just flick it with your finger, come on really quick, and then slow down. You know what, I'd like to make it a little bit more sporadic than that. Uh, let's make this, let's make this two. Let's get crazy here. Now it's going to move twice as fast, two times a second. And then right back down there. Actually, you know what? It's kind of messing it up. Let's leave the frequency alone at two, and then we'll just move the amplitude. Okay. So. The other thing that, since we're doing a bobblehead, the position always moves a little bit up and down. So we could keyframe this individually, or take the rotation, copy expression only, and then paste onto position. So Apple B or Control B, and there you go. There's our expression again. So now we have the head moving, but it's moving the X and the Y, and we just want to move the Y. So what we're gonna do is we're going to take x, uh, do this the long way, 
you guys can see it. So there's our x and y parameters. Basically x, y, they're really just whatever's in front of the first uh, comma is the first value and so on. Uh, there's lots of tutorials on this stuff if you want to check it out more. So x is going to equal value which is basically just whatever keyframe value you have in there. And we're going to make 0, which means take it from the first part of it. And then y is going to equal the wiggle. So we're just going to take this wiggle down here and put it right there. So there's our wiggle. And we're going to take, since that's returning two numbers, we're just going to take the second number in the array. So here we're taking the first number in the value array, which is the position, and then we're taking the second value of wiggle. Okay, perfect. And then the other thing, oh, you're going to need a hole in there or else we're going to have an error. So the other thing is, well, we'll see. The amplitude is going to be too high for this up and down, I have a feeling. Yeah, it's just a little bit too high. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the amplitude and we're going to divide it by, let's say, 2. So now the y is not going to move up as down as much. Still, still moving a little too much. But maybe we can just lower the head a little bit. We can kind of get away with it. Not bad. It's a little sporadic. So remember how I was telling you guys that the wiggle has an extra number? If we go comma 1 and enter a third value in here, we're actually going to get not as sporadic movement. It's going to be a little bit more controlled, a little more fluid. I'd like to see a little more left and right on it. I'm not going to lie. Um, I'm going to make this a little slower so it looks a little bit more fluid. Maybe go right down to like 0.5 and then we'll pump this up to like 35 or something. That's going to give us a sort of a slower but farther movement. So it's going to be a little bit more. Oh, that's a little too slow. Is that just my rendering? Let's go with one. Obviously, depending on what you're doing, you don't want to play around with it. I think that's good. I like that. I think the up and down's a little too much. But uh, so maybe we'll do that. Divide that by four. Look at that nice bobblehead. So yeah, that's how you make a bobblehead. And a little bit of extra control on the wiggle using the frequency and amp sliders. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Uh, we'll check you out. <laughs> check out the, uh, the other stuff we got posted, and we'll see you next time. All right, later.